Hey guys, Backyard Bassin here. Tonight we're going to go over a few little baits, mainly creature baits and crawl baits, and figure out what the differences are between them and when to use them. So, first up, we have a brush hog. It's a pretty common bait, a lot of people throw them. They work really well in ponds, lakes, uh, smaller streams, stuff like that. Uh, they're good for large mouth, good for small mouth. Uh, catch even a lot of bluegill on them too, really. Um, but the thing we're going to talk about is is mainly the legs on this. Um, if you can see here, it's got two very small slender legs. They're very thin. Uh, when you throw them in the water, they have a ton of action to them. Um, this bait also has a couple of little flappers on it. I don't know if you can see those there. Uh, they're a little bit thicker than what the tails are. Uh, they don't have quite as much movement, but they do have a little bit of movement. Makes it uh, appear to be a little bit bigger bait than what it really is. Um, if you go up a little bit farther on there, it's got a little pinches, little arms here. Uh, they don't have a whole lot of movement. Now, if you want a little bit more movement out of them, you can rip the bottoms of the arms off, and it will give them a little bit more room. I can show you that here. Um, just take them, just slightly pull them apart there. And you can see there, they're a little bit longer arms, um, and they will move a little bit more freely in the water than give a little bit bigger action or bigger. Uh, appearance to it so that is our first one on there also great bait anywhere you go so second bait we're going to get into is actually the rage menace um, pulled this pack in here I pulled the white ones out just a little bit easier to see I think but let's see here all right so this is your Rage Menace. Uh, I would say probably 9 out of 10 times I don't throw this by itself. I'm going to throw this on a trailer normally. Uh, usually a swim jig trailer is one of, this is probably my go-to swim, swim bait trailer. Um, or swim jig trailer, sorry. Um, you can see it does have two little flappers here at the end. They are connected. You'll have to pull them apart. You'll just pull them, just pop right apart. No problem at all. But if you notice on these, you can see that there, they've got flanges all the way around those little flippers there. Now that allows, when you're swimming that through the water, you get a real good kick back and forth between both of these. Um, this one here, it doesn't really move side to side or nothing like that. It just, it's just straight up and down kick on these. That's why they work really well on a swim jig trailer. So, it does have a little bit bigger, beefier uh, body on it, which I like a lot better. Um, I will tell you, when I usually use it on a swim jig trailer, I'll take off probably the top, you know, half to three-quarter inch of it so it fits up on her nice and snug and it's a little bit more compact of a jig then. Um, but all around, awesome bait. A lot of kick to it. Um, if you're going to be in the springtime or something like that, you're going to be fishing around like uh, some grass mats or uh, lay down, stuff like that. This thing really works good. Kind of looks like a little frog kicking through the water or something like that. So, um, but definitely a very good bait. So, on to the next one here. The next one is actually by Missile Baits. This is called the D-Bomb. Um, the color on that was a, uh, I think it's a Copper Chopper, I think is the name. Nope, this one's a Superbug. Sorry about that. Okay, if you can see on this one, it's kind of like the Menace 2. Except for the difference is, the little flappers down here, if you can see this, are just completely flat. They don't have a whole lot of action to them. It's just a little kick to it. Um, I like to throw these when the fish are a little bit more finicky. Uh, it doesn't have quite as much action to it. It's a little bit slower presentation. I'll usually throw this on a little bit lighter weight too, just as a slower fall in the water. Um, they're looking for that little bit slower bait. They're not wanting to chase a whole lot. This is one of my go-tos right here. Um, it does have, you can see these, it's got two little flappers on it on each side. There's one on each side there. Um, they have a little bit of action. Not a whole lot. I haven't seen much out of them ever. Um, just other than it makes it appear a little bit bigger than what it really is. Um, but bass just eat these things alive. I mean they really like them. Um, it is a softer bait uh, than I would say like most of the Rage stuff. Uh, it has like a, a unique design to it that makes it feel really really soft. Uh, it's flanges all over it and they're really really soft. So that is a really good bait. It does have a hard top to it. So when you're putting a hook through it, you do have a little bit more meat up here to hook through. 
and then the rest of the body is that little bit softer stuff. But all around, excellent bait. Next bait we're going to go to, one of everybody's favorites and one everybody's been asking for, the Guggen baits. So this is the Bandito Bug. Um, this is in uh, the summer crawl color. Get one out here. So this is the Bandito Bug. As you can see, it kind of looks like a missile D-bomb, um, but it does have two extra arms up here, which the D-bomb does not. And then it has the flanges just like that too, but if you look on the end of these, these are just like the Rage Menace. They have that flange on the end, which makes these things kick a bunch. Um, these little arms right here on the side, you can detach you know, all four of these, or just two or one, or however you want to do, but they all come detached there. Um, that gives this bait a lot of action. I've had a lot of good luck with this. Um, I will say the only slight downfall to this is it is a very soft plastic, so it doesn't last that long. But I'd rather be catching fish and replacing plastics than having a hard plastic that doesn't catch any fish. So that is, like I said, the Guggen Bandito Bug. Excellent bait. Um, I rigged this up a lot of times on just regular straight Texas rig or a punching setup. Either one works great if I'm looking for a lot of action with a fast fall. That's the difference between this and the Missile D-Bomb. The Missile D-Bomb, you want something that's a little bit slower fall. This one, I want a little bit faster fall because it's got all the action to it. They're, they're ready to pounce on this thing as soon as it hits the water. Um, like I said, very good bait. And on to the next one. We're going to go into, this is the Rage Structure Bug which is just like the Missile D, just like the Guggen baits, just a little bit different uh, look to it. I'll show you here. All right, so you can see that's just like both of them that we just did. Um, thing is with this one, this one does have slightly larger flanges on it. So it is gonna have a lot of kick on this thing, which works good for a trailer on a jig. Um, if you're wanting to go through some grass mats or go through some laydowns and stuff like that and something with a lot of action, this thing has a ton of action on the little flappers. Um, unlike the Guggenbaits Bandito Bug, it does only have two little arms here. Um, these are already detached. Oh, I'll take it back. They, they are detached. So you can detach those, give you a little bit more movement, make it look a little bit bigger. Um, but these are all around a great bait especially for just using a plain Texas rig. You get a lot of action on the flappers, a lot of action out of the arms. It's a very slick um, body to it. It's a little bit harder plastic than what like the uh, Guggen baits have or the uh, Missile D-Bomb, but it, it'll last a little bit longer. But your, uh, your, your plastic is not gonna wear out nearly as much as the other two. So that's a good starter bait right there. It's not very big. It's only, I think these are three inch, I think is what they are. Uh, four inch, sorry. These are four inch. So, like I said, excellent bait, good for punching, good for starter bait, easy to rig, and we'll go on to the next one. Next one is probably my all time favorite. I fish this thing on a plain Texas rig, I use it on punching rigs, I use it as a trailer. Um, there is not much you can't do with this. Uh, bait and it has proven me time and time again that it is flawless I mean they couldn't have done this bait any better and this is going to be the rage crawl get one out here you can see that there this is the rage crawl it's a very slim body up top a little bit wider body down here um, and then the flappers have that flange again for a lot of kicking power. Um, the difference between these and the menace that we went over and the missile D-bomb is these appendages come way out. I mean, they flap all over the place and they turn and twist and everything else. They give it a lot of action on this thing. Um, like I said before, this is probably my all-time favorite soft bait there is. Um, like I said, it's so versatile. You can do so much with this thing and it gets bit all the time. Um, 
the one thing I will say about this bait over the other ones is the body is like I said on the uh, the previous one of the structure bug rage it's a little bit harder plastic I don't mind it on this bait it lasts longer I get bites on it all the time I can go through usually if I'm catching a lot of smaller fish a lot of times what happens is they'll, they'll bite those pinchers off but if they're a little bit bigger and they're grasping it pretty good it's not a big deal I can usually fish five or six or seven eight fish on one bait so that's pretty good um, the other baits usually don't last that long usually they get hit one time and they're pretty tore up so um, this is probably one of my favorite baits for being able to last on a hook and not just get shredded so that's all I got for you guys tonight so stay tuned we'll come out with another video maybe we'll go over some jigs see you guys next time thanks